Hey everybody, it's John from Amateur Scale Model Building. Um, so, today starts the Porsche build. I just want to catch up on the Camaro before I wrap this up in bubble wrap and stash it away. Um, so, alright, let's start with the chassis. Alright, the engine's just kind of set in there. It's not really in yet. Uh, you've seen the engine. I got uh, the chassis um, ready and the floorboards are all set. Um, it's ready to go. Had to do some repairs on this that was broken. Um, so yeah, I got the traction bars and leaf springs. So, and these tires, um, they're from, these are from the Oldsmobile, I believe. Um, that I might have mentioned before, the rims that came with the with the Camaro, um, it was all, there was four rims. The two rear were different than the two front. Um, I didn't care for that too much. So, so there's that. Um, I took the wheel backs, had to bore them out a little bit so I could fit the pins in, uh, so they'd fit the axle. So I got that all set. So this is ready. The chassis is ready to roll. Um, nothing to power it, but. All right, we got the firewall all detailed. The interior is all set. Um, the roll bars, uh, missing a couple pieces. I'm not sure, but I did, if I'm gonna use it or not, I did fit a rear seat um, that came from the charger. Uh, I fit, I did fit that sort of fit in here. There's a little gap in between uh, the rear flat board and the back of the, the rear seat. Not quite sure um, how I want to handle that. Obviously, I got to put a piece of something to fill the gap, or I might just fashion a couple more uh, support bars for the roll bar. But yeah, that, if I use the roll bar, I'm going to paint it yellow so it just, you know, brings out more. So, so yeah, there's the, there's the interior. Um, if you can see, uh, I don't know if you can see the detail in there and stuff, but anyway, there it is. So yeah, I got that ready to go. Um, I still need to gloss the hood and the rear bumper, um, but I did get the body painted and glossed um, at the rear, rear stripes on that. Um, I did steal the decals from another from another build. Um, hopefully one day I'll learn masking. The only thing that scares me about masking is um is is being my measurements being right, um, which I think even these decals the measurements are a little off. Um, all the detail on the body. I just did the for the louvers here. Um, I just watched how you guys do your grills, your front grill, and I did that with the louvers. Um, I painted it in, and I just took a, a, a damp towel and wiped off, wiped it off, and that worked really well for the louvers. It's basically ready to piece together. Um, there's still, like I said, there's still a little bit of painting left to do, but other than that, um, it's looking good. So yeah, I have to uh, try to fashion a, a drivetrain for it because um, the drivetrain the drive has mysteriously disappeared. I don't know where it went to. So I'm um, pretty sure it had one when I got it. I do have a cat that likes to steal things, so that could be the issue, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, so I'm trying to work to work this um, to try to help um, this might pin in. Um, it's a, it is a piece that I found that already had this little pin on it, so I'm just hoping. I did cut it to size already. I just have to try to file this um, and get it to where it will fit into the tranny. Um, so. So yeah, that's um, that's that. 
the springs. Um, I did, was able to get um, a zapple actually able to fashion so they fit in there. I cut them off another trainee and used the springs for the front end because this car needed springs in the front end. Well, obviously, they all do. So, so I was able to fit something into there. Uh, and I did the little neat trick I see y'all doing with the tires on the sandpaper. <clears throat> yeah, so it's really coming together. Uh, so today I'm going to stop in the Porsche. Um, I think I might just stop priming the body first. I like to get the body done. Um, I don't know if it's too early, but just... So when I'm ready to fit everything together, that, that that's ready to go. Um, I think I think I'll show you. I think I'm going to use apple red out for the body. Uh, I like this color, obviously. I like all the colors I use. I would be using them. So yeah, I'm, I'm tossing this around. Um, so before I get to it, another question. Um, so I have black primer. I did buy some white primer. I'm guessing the white primer would be best to use the red on. It would be easier to cover. Uh, let me know in the comments below uh, what your advice would be. But yeah, so I'm going to start that. and. Um, I'll keep you updated on how this build is going and I thank you all for joining me today if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe below click the like button thank you to all my subscribers I have now I'm growing slowly but surely my channel is growing uh, thank you and I appreciate it and I thank you for everybody that leaves comments and clicks the like button and I will catch you next I will catch you next time Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you soon. God bless.